stop because you can't stop when he's on. Time's what he's saying will leave you in a day. But you gotta put close attention because you can't put a word inside. We got crazy mad societies, we're all a bunch of free. We got crazy mad solutions when he talks before he thinks. When I need a couple of fun, like money ain't a thing, man. I got a side job clubbing rats over in England. Off the top, losing you ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Off the top, can't be ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Don't take offense, cause my man is frankly honest. He's the only one that ever beat me in a sweating contest. Cause if you can't take the heat, you're getting kicked out the kitchen. You get the dry white toast, he's got the two whole chickens. He's got away with the ladies, they're always taking him home to mother. When she answers the door, she's like, I see you and your father. It's obvious, his mouth is gonna get him in trouble. Yo, Bill, call the board, get the bail on the double. Pop the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Duvall. Pop the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Duvall. Pop the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Duvall. Pop the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Duvall. CentralValleyTalk.com It must be another episode of Sex, Drugs, Chris Double! <laughs> Holy shit, Billy Baru fans! Yes, he's how I'm fucking feeling, Bill. How are you? Fine. Bill, how the fuck are you? Fine. Bill, how the fuck are you? Fine. There's something special in the air tonight, Billy Baru. We weren't here last week. No. Oh no, I didn't make anyone in April Fool. It was fucking true. We weren't here, Billy Baru. Wait, Bill, you didn't show up to the studio, did you? Oh, thank God, Bill. We take so much medicine around here that I can't remember what the fuck's going on. I'm surprised I didn't show up to the studio, Bill. What happened was I was hosting a show for the Artourage. It was the Artourage's four-year anniversary bash, and it was all headlined by Psycho Stick and Necro Goblicon, Bill. Try saying that playtime stress, Billy Baru. And I'll tell you what, that was fucking insane. That show was fucking crazy, okay? As I'm fucking walking through the crowd after I introduced the band Necrogoblicon, and by the way, excuse me, folks, for not knowing who they are, but when I'm walking off the stage, I notice, I see, Bill, there's a full-fledged goblin on stage wearing a three-piece suit, wearing a very nice suit, Bill, ears out to hear a full-fledged goblin, and his mouth moved, Bill, and he was on stage hanging out with the band. It was the craziest motherfucking thing you've ever seen, Billy Baru, but it was happening, and I was hosting it. <laughs> Can we get a Danny Tanner all because I didn't have a plus one for fucking Bill? Oh. Well, holy shit, Bill, I fucking tried. It was the first time me and Art working together in years. And I wasn't trying to fucking, you know, first time I see him, hey, thanks for having me host the show. By the way, how many fucking free people can I get in? But, Bill, you know you're always at the top of the list. I know just one, Bill. It's fucking Art. Now, hey, I have an official Facebook page for the show, and that motherfucker just popped 1,100 likes, so that's work, Bill. That's work, Bill. You can like that motherfucker. Sex Drugs Chris DeVolt spelled like a chick with a K, but I got a dick, Bill. Little human tonight. I'm not going to whip out the fucking... I'm not gonna do it, Bill. It's a little fucking human tonight. That thing ain't coming out. Had you liked the official Facebook page, it would've been no surprise. You would've already known that my live musical guest for the evening is French Vanilla! <laughs> you guys are in for a motherfucking treat. Hopefully you've already gone and fucking liked her Facebook page. Bill, you know what I'm doing? You're liking it. I'm fucking liking her Facebook page. You know what I'm doing? I'm liking my Facebook page. Bill, it's that fucking easy. Quit being lazy fucking stoners. Now, can I go ahead and get to this? Fresno made national news again, Bill. Look, nobody in the fucking room's happy. You realize when I say Fresno made national news, nobody in the room, everybody from Fresno's like, oh, fuck, what'd we do? Like, it's like last time we made national news, Bill, some dude's trying to fucking steal a whole ATM out of a fucking liquor store. So this time I'm thinking maybe we're going to do a little something better. Well, you know romantic gestures. Sometimes you want to propose to your lady. Sometimes you want to propose to your lady and do something really fancy. Right. Sometimes you smoke a lot of fucking meth and you want to do something fancy for your fiance, Bill. And you've been there, done that, right? So you're like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to climb Morro Rock. This motherfucker, Bill, can you just show this dickhead getting fucking rescued right there? Look at this fucking picture. You go up to fucking Morro Bay, and you've seen Morro Rock. Most of us have, right? Even when you're standing on the fucking beach, and you're on the sand, that motherfucker's pretty big. And you know it's far away. So I'm wondering, what kind of gack buzz did this guy fucking have to where he's scaling Morro fucking rock? We used to call it gack some... Gack, anyways. No, we didn't know. We didn't used to call it that. I've heard of people that used to call it that. Fucking shit, we'll talk about this later, Bill. We'll talk about this later. But the motherfucker climbed Morro Rock, and then you know what 
happened somehow at the raging height of his fucking meth buzz. And he's like, man, I love you, Denise. I fucking love you, girl. I climbed this fucking rock for you. Which way did I come up? <laughs> Fuck. He can't remember what fucking path he took to get on top of the rock, Bill. So now he's just scatting. He's like, see, ba beep, da. He's making it up as he goes along, Bill. He doesn't know how to get down from this fucking rock. About halfway, he's stuck. He can no longer move no more. He's going to fall and die, Bill. So now you have the air fucking people. They have to come in in the fucking helicopter. Guys risking their lives at this point for a meth head that was trying to tell his fucking woman, I love you so much, Denise. Oh, girl, I love... Oh, I need another hit. Like, I, that's what I think happened. Yeah. He scaled the thing. It was going to be romantic. And he's like, no, I got to get back down. I left my shit and my, my pants down there. They're at the bottom. So these guys had to rescue him. And once again, Fresno trending on Facebook. Fresno in the national news. And God dang it, it's not for anything good whatsoever, Bill. No. Give it up for Fresno. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't think we're ever getting the news for anything fucking good, Bill. I think it's always going to be fucking shit like that. No, yeah, right? That's exactly how that's going to go. No, Billy Baru, hey, uh, let's go ahead and talk about this, Bill. I know I'm going to go a little off course. Maybe if you can run with me here. I'm hosting a show tomorrow night. No, oh, it's going to be a dirty one. And when I mean a dirty one, it really is. Are those guys holding dildos, Bill? Yeah. Oh, shit. The mentors are coming to town. If you know anything about this band, they're called the Kings of Sleaze. I swear to God, I swear to God, they have a song called Bring On The Sluts. I know that. Anyways, uh, and, uh, bands have been added, okay? Social Contract, the Valicia is going to be there. And then also... I don't want to say it wrong. I think it's Vivisick or Vivisick. They're out of fucking Tokyo, Japan. They got added to the fucking bill. Oh, domorebrigato, Vivisick. I cannot do that tomorrow when those fucking people are there. Because they're going to be like, oh, mucho disrespecto. And I don't want any of that shit. So I got to get it all. Mucho disrespecto. Mucho disrespecto. That's not how that works. I get that all that shit out before tomorrow. I don't want to be getting in trouble with that fucking show. It's going to be at Tokyo Gardens. And my God, get your drink orders in early at that place. Because if it's still the same old dude I know that used to bartend there when I used to sing karaoke there. Oh, my God. He's like, hey, 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 it's my, I'm trying to sing Ace of Base. Turn it on. You're never going to see the sign if he's sleeping over there. That's simply what I'm saying, all right? Nabaru. In the, in the, there was a movie in the 70s that was called Jaws, all right? Now, Jaws was a bad motherfucker. He was mad. He was mad. He was a fucking great white on a rampage, okay? He was hungry. But then there were some movies that weren't fucking so good back then. There was a movie called Gator. Now, I don't know if you guys know this movie, but this gator went around. There's a whole big wedding scene where this gator shows up at a wedding. Fucks everyone up. Ain't nobody can kill this gator, okay? Now, Bill, yeah. show the fucking picture. We're talking an 800 pound fucking alligator, Bill. Look at how big that guy is next to that thing. That's what she said. Bill, look at that shit. It is gigantor. Now, if those things are out there, have you ever seen the fucking pictures of those giant catfish? They're like this big. And apparently, what's the rule on those motherfuckers? They can grow as, as, as big as the body of water they're living in. Isn't that what it is? So essentially, there could be a catfish out there as big as you, Black Thunder. Not as big as me. Oh. This motherfucker. He has been taking, taking like some months sabbatical from the show. The first thing he likes to say is big old fucking dick joke. Whipping out the big dick joke. In case you guys don't know, his name's Black Thunder, so you can see why that'd be his go to fucking joke, Black Thunder. Good to see you, by the way, man. Holy shit. Okay. 800 pound fucking gator was caught. I don't know how you fucking go about catching this thing. I just seen Lake Placid. Betty White was near the lake talking profanities and shit. That movie blew my mind. And Bill, they got this fucking thing. It's dead now. So now what, Bill? How come every cool thing we find, we kill? I don't know. That's Wouldn't it be cool to go see the 800 pound fucking. Yeah. Put him on tour. Give him a cool name. Like fucking, I don't know, cunt or something. Oh! No, that's one! That's one sex drugs, Christopher. There's a five cunt minimum. That's two. I gotta pace myself. French vanilla's in the house tonight. I don't wanna be spewing out these cunts all over the place. That's three. That's too much for the first segment. You guys calm it down, all right? Billy Baru, how about this? I feel things are flowing and I feel like we're fucking working it, all right? Billy, I feel there's magic in the air, okay? Did I mention that my live musical guest for the evening is French vanilla? <laughs> Performing live, we will talk to her, we will find out 
Why the fuck is she in town? Because we got her here, Bill. We're gonna find out how she fucking rocks it up where she's from. Where is she from? You're gonna have to fucking all find out. Sex Drugs, Chris Devolt, CentralValleyTalk.com. Bill, let's take that... You've been playing this all night, dude. Don't chase the waterfalls, Bill. Slide the fucking knob. <laughs> Delicious, nutrient-dense, 100% organic raw milk from Organic Pastures. Visit OrganicPastures.com or call 1-877-RAW-MILK. I was an addict, an opiate addict. The three years clean in October. I was renewed at the Fresno Rescue Mission. My mom, who does a lot of cooking, has been part of the rescue mission, has been willing to help teach people to make jams and jellies and other food. The Fresno Rescue Mission. And I believe that downtown Fresno needs a renewal as well. Tree of Life Cafe represents new, healthy growth in downtown Fresno. I've seen men and women go through rehab programs. They want to start a new life. And yet when they get out on the street, they find it very difficult to get a job. Nobody will give them a chance. That's what this cafe is designed to do. You will be like family to us. We will serve you our home-cooked food made with farm-fresh produce that comes from farmers right here in our valley. We love downtown Fresno. Sunshine Natural Health in Tulare, California is your source for nature's best remedies. Call Sunshine Natural Health at 559-688-2063 and get healthy. If you're considering a reverse mortgage in the Central Valley or just want more information, contact Jerry Carmichael. She's experienced, and more important, she's local. Call 559-903-6903. Call Brian Cossack today at 559-977-1976. Protecting you and those you love financially. Make an appointment today. At Miracle Realty, we've been providing premier professional residential sales and property management in residential and commercial property for years. We manage single-family homes, condominiums, apartment buildings, commercial buildings, office space, and much more. No matter what experience level you have in property management, Miracle Realty strives to make your experience as stress-free as possible. Serving Madera and the surrounding areas, we use the latest technology and provide top-notch service. We're a trusted and reliable name in residential sales and property management with the experience to answer any questions or complications that might come up. Give us a call today or visit us online for more information. Central Valley Talk. Suck the big joke and play with the middle. It's so simple, unlike a riddle. It's as easy as cow. Ooh, well, 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 my little nasty. CentralValleyTalk.com. Sex drugs, Chris Devold. Oh my God, hopefully you refilled the weed bowl, the cereal bowl. Maybe you got yourself another beer. If I had chocolate milk, maybe I'd be blowing bubbles in mine. <laughs> One day we'll fucking find out, Billy Baru, did I mention that my live musical guest for the evening is French Vanilla! <laughs> Coming all the way down from fucking Oak Town, San Francisco area, had to ride the motherfucking Amtrak for five hours, Bill! Wow. Five hours to come fucking hang out with us that long, man! Wow. Yeah, you know, I would do that for certain, I would do that for certain celebrities. You guys have celebrities you guys would do that for? Fucking come down, fucking hang out with, man. You know, I told my girl the other day, I'm just gonna go ahead and refill this real quick, Bill. I told my girl that I like Drake Bell. You guys know who the fuck Drake Bell is? Man, nothing gets me happier than getting really stoned and watching some Drake and Josh. I don't know what the fuck is up with that show, but it gets me going, Bill. I think it's hilarious. But I wonder how bad of ass, like, can you be? How bad of an ass can you be, like, if you're in line waiting to see Drake Bell? And, like, do you get mad? Like, hey, motherfucker, Drake Bell! Drake Bell! I love you, motherfucker! <laughs> Man, he's the baddest. You think he heard me? I bet he heard me. Drake Bell! I love you, motherfucker! Man, I love Drake Bell. Like, I, that, would that be embarrassing? Could you be with me if we were out somewhere like Tower Records in LA and we were doing that shit? <laughs> Drake! Drake! I've seen every episode of Drake and Josh, motherfucker! I love him, girl. I love him. And, like, look at you and just check in every so often. Anyways, hey, I want to tell this story real quick. There's a guy in the house tonight. And some people are just guys. Some people are guys. We're fucking... We'd be happy masturbating on a hot rock sometimes. That's how, that's how simple we are, okay? There's a guy in the room right now. He's going he's gonna to go nameless, okay? His, his name rhymes with Jeremy. Ah, shit. Shit, I fucked that up, didn't I? Ah, I fucked that up. I'm sorry, Jeremy. That was my bad. All right, so here it goes. Now, now correct me if I get this story wrong. I may embellish it a little bit, but this is pretty much how it went down. 
Now, Jeremy, uh, we worked at the bank for a little bit together. I work at a bank, financial institution. And he was in there one day telling the story. He's like, man, I was hanging out with this chick last night, man. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty interesting. What's going on? He's like, yeah, you know, we're hanging out. We're drinking. We're getting drunk. And it seems like I'm probably going to bone her. How long were you hanging out that evening with her? Like an hour, probably. He was with her for an hour. You were pretty buzzed up, right? Yeah, she was giving me tequila. Oh, she was giving him the tequila, Billy Baru. You know how that goes. <laughs> You get a little red face, you get a little sweaty, you're like, man, this chick's about to touch her, you know? And handcuffs, yeah, Bill. Well, this chick made the mistake of somehow mentioning during the whole entire conversation that she was on her period. She was on her cycle. Now, it's not like you were dating her. It's not like it was your girlfriend. This was going to be a piece of strange that you were going to be getting into for the evening, my friend. And nothing worse, you ain't gonna put up with any extra roadblocks for a piece of strange. You know that, right, Bill? Right. Now, maybe a girl you're dating or something, you're like, yeah, a girl's fine, I'll look past <laughs> that, you know? I don't know why I gotta talk like that when I'm fucking gonna do that. But anyways, so he couldn't look past it. Now, did she have to go in and go to the bathroom? Did she have to go in and grab more drink? What'd she have to go in for? Uh, yeah, I think for another drink. So this girl's like, I'm gonna go in and grab some more drinks. You cool? He's like, yeah, grab me some, cool. And then she went inside, and he, boom, fucking roadrunnered out of that motherfucker. <laughs> now, did you have to hop a fence? Yeah, I'm joking. Now, he had to jump a fence. <laughs> now, this is one of those weird stories that reminds me of fucking ditching school back in the day, and someone's parents came home early, and you had to run out the back and hop over the fence. Now, this motherfucker hopped a fence. And ran, ran, doing like 80 fucking five to his car. Bill, essentially at that point, he's running from a bloody pussy. Is that not true, Bill? Yeah. <laughs> Is that the weirdest situation? And that's a guy. We weren't even mad at him. You told that story at work, and me and Gucci just looked at him and we were like, man, you really ran? Yeah, hopped the fence too. What, you hopped the fence? <laughs> yeah, hopped the fence, took off to my car, got the fuck out of there, man. And he's like, man, I was pretty turn I was pretty done up too. She was giving me tequila. I'm like, and nobody was mad at you. Like, we didn't even flinch off the story. We laughed because it was funny, but I didn't even think like, oh, well, that's messed up. You should have at least told. I was like, well, that's what they do, you know? <laughs> that's what they do, Bill. This is what we do. Bill, you know we men. We men, we do what we do, Bill. You know we fart in our sleep. You know we uh, like a like a good uh, joint and a uh, piece of meat and porno, and we're just pretty easy to please, Bill. <laughs> now, anybody in here a fan of Scarlett Johansson? Yeah. Holy hell, that girl's a piece, isn't she? Yeah. That girl's got fucking girls wanting to fuck her, guys wanting to fuck her, plants wanting to fuck her. <laughs> now we're gonna show you a picture, Bill. Show this picture. Now the only reason, now the only reason I know that's really not hers, her head's just a little bigger than normal, and that's because a fucking guy in fucking Japan made a Scarlett Johansson robot. Now it's a full-size robot, and as far as I can tell, this son of a bitch is anatomically correct. I see titties on this thing. Now he worked over a year on this fucking thing. And I'm gonna go in on a limb and say he's single. I'm just gonna go ahead and... We're gonna go ahead and get that out the way right now. I think the motherfucker's single. Because I don't know any chick where she's like, you're not gonna come to bed? And he's like, well, I'm working on the robot in the basement. It looks like Scarlett Johansson. She's like, I'm the fuck out of here. I'm the fuck out. I don't know any chick. And any chick that would hang out, he starts off saying, yeah, I'm just making an uh, Android a robot downstairs. And eventually around month six or seven, it's really looking like Scarlett Johansson at this point. Cat's out the motherfucking bag, dude. You're making a fuck doll, okay? Look at that. That's a full body shot on that thing. He got it even wearing a little belly shirt, man. Motherfucker, he gonna get up on that thing, man. And I'll tell you what, right now, here's the even crazier part of it. He has it responding to compliments. So if he pays it a nice compliment and he can pick it up, it winks back, it smiles at him. It's all doing like, oh, God, there's the wink. There's the wink. All he has to do is say something nice, and there's the robot Scarlett Johansson ready to do every single will of his dick. I mean, this is for science. I forget. I'm sorry. Bill, what purpose would a man have to have that fucking full-size doll? Tell me now. You're not allowed to say anything sexual. Why would you have a doll like that? You're not allowed to say anything sexual. Exactly. There's no fucking reason to have a doll like that, Bill.
Now, are they going to be selling them in stores? And if so, for how much? I mean, is this going to hit the market? Not for me. I'm just wondering. I got lonely roommates. But do you freak out if you're at a chick's house and she's like, you know, do you want to fuck me? And then, like, robot Scarlett Johansson walks out and she's like, uh, both of us, you know? <laughs> Bill, you fuck a chick and robot Scarlett Johansson in a threesome? Yes. Oh! <laughs> Bill didn't even flinch on that one. He's like, yeah, I'd fuck the chick and the robot, Chris. What's the big fucking deal? What? What would he do? You go fucking Sandler on me on that one. Okay, show her. She's wearing that belly shirt. I don't know what he's doing. Why does he ever... Look at that dog. That dog knows. That dog in the photo knows that that ain't a real motherfucking human, dude. Look at that shit. Dogs can sense, just like in Terminator. They can sense the fucking Terminators. Do your research. It's a movie. Google that shit, kids. When people fucking give you the weird looks, Bill, and you're just talking about Terminator, you know. Now, hey, you guys like penis? Alright, let's cover the other end of that spectrum. Anybody in here have a penis? Woo, there we, and you know, it's like guys aren't even cheering. You have like Black Thunder going, yes. And like, they, they're nodding. But your girl's like, girls like penis? Woo! It's the fucking penis brigade in here tonight, Billy Baru. Yeah. Bill, I swear to God, you whip it out, you got them. At least a good chance of someone touching it, Bill. Even if by accident, Baru. Now this guy, he has a, he has a fucking penis museum, okay? Now, sometimes you're wondering about the history of the cock. No, never, actually. I've never even wondered, to tell you the truth. Sometimes there's, you know, really, I can't think of any reason I would need a penis museum, Bill. I picked this story out, and now that I'm thinking about it, this guy's pretty fucked up. I would not pick it out because of that reason. I was just saying the guy has a penis museum. It's pretty fucking interesting. I'm just simply saying. Now, this guy's from Iceland, okay? So I don't know what they're doing in Iceland. I don't know if anybody has any... Uh, I, what? That's the one that's all green. It's all green. Okay, so Iceland is the green, and Greenland is the ice. You guys remember that shit from school? Yeah. Or the other things I learned in grade school that will never amount to anything? M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I? -I -S -S -I -I? Nice. Why did it even mean anything that you could spell fucking Mississippi like that back then? And it just, it just stuck with you, right? It's just one of those fucking things. Hey, Bill, you ever stick gum in anyone's hair back in school? Not gum. No? We're, whoa. <laughs> Bill, you... What kind of history class were you in, Baru? You were in. You don't get to say I was. I was in 101. Now, okay, I want to bring this up. Okay, there may be the Loch Ness monster in London. Does anybody believe in the Loch Ness monster? Bigfoot, UFOs, ghosts. Do you guys believe in ghosts? Okay, listen. You guys want to hear a fucked up story? Let's put the tablet away, kids. Let's bring it in real close, Bill. Okay, I was living in my old apartment one time. Okay, right? I was living with this chick. And this bitch was in the bathroom, okay? She was getting ready for work. She was putting on her makeup, okay? I start to get up because I hear the microwave beep in the kitchen. I hear beep. I'm laying in bed. I'm like, what the fuck is that? She's in the bathroom out of microwave beep, right? So then I'm sitting up in bed, and as I'm sitting up, I hear beep. And I definitely hear her makeup box move in the fucking bathroom. So at this point, I'm like somebody's broken into the house and they're playing with the microwave? Like, that does not make sense. That does not make sense, Bill. So then I want to talk out loud because I want to make myself feel comfortable. I'm freaking out, Bill. So I'm like grabbing my shirt and I'm walking by the bathroom door. I'm like, babe, are you in the bathroom? Like, just trying to, I want to break that tension in the house and maybe she's fucking in there. And as I'm saying it, I hear beep. As I'm saying that sentence, I come around the corner and the microwave has 666 on it. Now, this fucking chick I was dating at the time, Bill, blind as a fucking bat, she comes around the corner and she's like, 888, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Get closer, look, bitch, it says 666, man. That's the sign of the beast, Satan in the fucking house. Satan in the house. I don't know, haunt, like, apartments can be haunted. That shit was fucking haunted. I went to work and told that story, and the one girl, Black Thunder, I don't know what it is, if, 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 I'll just tell you, the one black girl I work with at work, she would not allow me to tell that story again. She said, don't you tell that story around me. That is Satan in your house. And I'm like, I got to go back to that motherfucking place after I get out of here, Bill. <laughs> now, on the flip side, let me tell you this story. One time I got uh, really drunk off of fucking wine. Uh, yeah, in my apartment. I was living alone at the time. Really drunk off some wine that was given to me. And uh, when I woke up, the fucking dish towel was in the middle of the floor, Bill. And when I woke up in the middle of the night, this was after the 6-6 shit had happened, I'm like, oh my god, it moved the dish towel. 
and move the dish towel on the floor. Why would, and I'm drunk while I'm saying this. As a matter of fact, if I remember correctly, I was kind of on the ground because I was throwing up from said wine. And I'm noticing this dish towel down there. And, and Bill, yes, I know, it was like the ghost, the ghost was helping me. Yeah, no, that was a false alarm. I remember the next morning actually waking up and moving the dish towel. So that was a false alarm. But I did not do the 666 thing. And to this day, that apartment is still there, Bill. I don't fucking know what else would happen, but seriously, 666, and everybody asks me, what the fuck happened in your apartment of old? What changed in your apartment? What did you do in your fucking apartment? I'll tell you what changed in my apartment. No, my mom gave us this Jesus picture, and we don't have anything like that in our apartment. She's like, here's this Jesus picture. I've set it on our couch right in the entranceway to the kitchen near the microwave. I didn't know where to put it. I was like, man, I don't even know if we're going to hang this thing up. I was telling my fucking girlfriend, I was like, I don't want to put this shit up. We don't have anything Jesus in here. We're going to be hanging it. And next thing you know, boop, boop, boop. You want to know where that motherfucker was hanging the next day? Right in the hallway, Bill. Every time we had a party, people go, Scarface posters all around. He got Jesus on a cross in the hallway. What, is, what sense does that make? And I'm like, let me tell you about the microwave, and it always have to shut the party down, but it really didn't go together. You got Tony Montana and a large pile of coke, and then a Jesus on a cross. And it wasn't just a normal Jesus on the cross. It was like a thousand baby pictures of Jesus on the cross, and when you put them together, it makes a big Jesus on the cross. You know the fucking picture I'm talking about, right? You're like, my mom has that shit hanging in her house. Well, it protects you from fucking haunted microwaves. How about that shit, Bill? Fucking shit, man. Never make a hot pocket again. CentralBellyTalk.com, Sex, Drugs, Crystal. Did I mention tonight is episode 152? Yeah! Fucking shit, Bill. How about this? Coming from the Bay Area, straight for you. We're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, our live musical guest of the evening, French Vanilla! <laughs> Bill, slide that fucking knob. Need a dentist? Call Dr. David Wright at 559-222-6213 or visit BiteMeDental.com. Email Dan Siemens at LegacyPower.com or call 559-312-5011. Rethink your drink with independent Javita member Christine Levin. Call 559-301-5177 and get healthy and wealthy. For information on author Steve Hammond's Rise of the Penguins saga, visit www.riseofthepenguins.net. Mike Briggs Properties sells homes in the Tower District and throughout Fresno and the Valley. Did you know we also sell businesses? Why work to build someone else's business when you could build your own? The small businesses we have for sale include restaurants, professional practices, and you can even own your own TV show. This week's featured businesses include an established pizza by the slice business in the heart of the Tower District and also available a laundromat in Van Ness Village. If you are interested in owning a business, call Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758 and ask for details. Kissed by the Moon, your cloth diaper and natural parenting store. Call 559-231-7101 or visit them online at kissedbythemoon.com. Rethink your drink with independent Javita member Christine Levin. Call 559-301-5177 and get healthy and wealthy. Are you a first-time home buyer or investor? Realtor Amy Braun can introduce you to a special program tailored just for you. Call Amy Braun at 960-4155 or visit amyhbraun.com. Need raisins? Call National Raisin Company at 559-834-5981 or online at nationalraisin.com. 
I think people think of raw food or healthy food as not having much flavor, and this is so flavorful. A very nutrient dense, and it feeds my body. I love raw Fresno because I learned so much about nutrition. It's organic, like, and it's it's delicious. It's nutrient dense um, and very tasty. So that's a lie. Probiotics and healthy vegetables to get that protein, uh, and it's a game changer. It's awesome. Come to Raw Fresno just because I love the food. And there's not too many options or any options like this anywhere. I come back because the food is delicious. It's definitely a new experience, you know, the different tastes, the salad. It's absolutely delicious. I love the food because, as I found, uh, this food actually has a lot of flavor. It's all so good, it's even, it's hard for me to decide what to eat, so then I'll just take samples of everything. Uh, my husband and I both are addicted to it, and it's like we go through uh, kale withdrawals because it makes us feel better. It's so healthy and because it tastes so good. I love the wraps, I love the chocolate cheesecake, and I know everything in it is good for me and I can eat it and feel good about myself. The food is so healthy and very tasty. I would definitely come back to Raw Fresno. I'm not even the same person. And it's all to this food, it's just amazing. It's transforming. Central Valley Talk. you're watching. Bill, ever since the inception of this show, February 12, 2013, 152 episodes fucking later, I've always proud to bring you one live musical act a week, and this week, well, it is a little different, because she traveled all the way down from the biggity fucking Bay Area just to be with you fuckers tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you, French Vanilla! What's good, y'all? All right. They wasn't coming to the shows by the flock They wasn't calling me the new Lady Pac They tried to hate, but I wasn't about to stop Now they all got my six like the hands on a clock uh, I let drop down at the top I'm a star on the track like Spock Just watch if it dame French vanilla Tell them squares just stop I'm from the bay where they call the party schmops And where you ain't on unless you slapping French vanilla You ain't on unless you slapping French vanilla you ain't on unless you slap in French vanilla I'm what's poppin' in the club I'm the dopest in the building, what's up? Four, five, six, seven, eight Weed so good, it make you levitate I am not a bitch, let me set it straight French vanilla and you better call me by my name Oh no, she fly, how high, G5 You know, got dope, how old, retard Homie, if it ain't French, you can tell him, be quiet Homie, if it ain't vanilla, then you're wasting your time You ain't on unless you slap in French vanilla you went on unless you slap in French vanilla. You went on unless you slap in French vanilla. I'm what's poppin' in the club. I'm the dopest in the building. What's up? You went on unless you slap in French vanilla. You went on unless you slap in French vanilla. You went on unless you slap in French vanilla. I'm what's poppin' in the club. I'm the dopest in the building. What's up? Tryna get fresh in the studio, bruh. I'm a rapper, not a silly hoe. It's really these dudes that be silly though. Too busy chasing pussy, never getting dough. Brody, bro, I'ma open up your chakras. Call me the big mama, the new big papa. I be in the kitchen cooking hits like Benny Hanna. I be eating competition, you can call me a piranha. Uh, hey though, don't be playing with my pesos. I may be petite, but got connections like a Lego. Lego is all I got to say to my bro, bro. Before they find you somewhere over the rainbow. I go, we know how dope, end up, hip hop, repo, choke hope, and quote. It's 31 flavors, got you loving French. I put the cherry on top for the hell of it. You went on unless you slapping French vanilla. You went on unless you slapping French vanilla. You went on unless you slapping French vanilla. I must pop it in the club. I'm a dope in the building. What's up? You went on unless you slapping French vanilla. You went on unless you slapping French vanilla. You went on unless you slapping French vanilla. I must pop it in the club. I'm the dopest in the building. What's up? My mom. <laughs> you ain't on unless you're 
Vanilla rolling papers. What you want? I got the 31 flavors. What you need? French vanilla rolling papers. What you want? I got the 31 flavors. Let's roll up. Let's get hot. Put your hands in the sky. Living life till we die. Like we don't give a fuck. Let's roll up. Let's get hot. Put your hands in the sky. Let's roll up. Let's get hot. Middle finger up. Rap hella fast. Or I can rap hella slow. It's not about the speed. Yo, it's all about the flow. Fake rappers suck, but French vanilla go. Serving ice cream at the Honda Foe. I am the plug, and you already know. Bad bitch on my side, just to roll on my dro. We four deep, like everywhere we go. I'm my boss in this bitch, and you can't say no, nah, nah. They ain't ready for me, nah, nah. They ain't ready for me. Who can it be? Who can it be? That's young French G. That's I'm more ready than Freddy, more ready than Candy, more. Ah, fuck. I messed up. Ready, let's get this shit started Hey, hey, you can ask me to freestyle I'm, I probably say not But I really don't like being put on the spot You can see me perform, uh, make it cherry pop uh, Make it cherry drop, uh, make the booty drop, drop Hey, uh, make the booty drop, drop Hey, uh, make that booty drop You can even have a little, baby, you can get a lot Bad bitch all day, tight like a knot You so good when they got what I Hey, French, yeah, you got what I want. Oh, this is the French Vanilla Takeover. Can you turn it up? I can, like, barely hear it.
French Vanilla Takeover. Mm. I'm a boss in this bitch, I'm a boss, you're a bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch, I'm a boss in this bitch, I'm a boss, you're a bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch, I'm a boss in this bitch, I'm a boss, you're a bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch. If you can't get it down, then you can't get this. Hey, hey, what I say goes. I'm a boss in this bitch, what I say flows. Bossing in the building like I got a bloody nose. I'm the queen bee and all the bees know. I be rolling in the honey like it's what I grow. When I got the green thumb and I'll never let it go. Just suck my dough, I be stunting all these hoes. Cause French vanilla go in my Honda foe. And I'm never running slow. So your girlfriend wanna know why you calling on my phone. Cause I got it for the low. Oh, and I get it by the O. Yeah, he hit me for the drill. And he hit me for the blow. Whoa, and you don't even know why, why, why your boyfriend wanna love me, love me. He say I got him feeling lucky, lucky. You know he gave me all your money, money. No wonder why you acting funny, cause pussy money weed makes the world go round. I'm a boss in this bitch, I don't need to wear a crown. I'm be bossing in the building, I'm the next best sound. I'm a boss in this bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch, I'm a boss, you're a bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch, I'm a boss, you're a bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch, I'm a boss, you're a bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch. If you can't get down, then you can't get this. That's right. Hey, yeah, I do what I wanna. Boss in this bitch, smoking marijuana. Every single day, they call me where Rihanna. Bitch, better have my money. These bitches laughing, but I'm not being funny. They take me for a joke. What you laughing at, honey? Honey, I know you bitches is broke. Asking for a friend, man, you bitches a joke. Got the word vomit, are you ready to choke? Cause I'm versus smack, I deliver the dope. I'm always on point, I ain't never need a scale. I'm a Pisces, rather be a killer whale. Yo, I roll the fattest blunts, making all the stoner stare. Vanilla in the building, got your lots for sale. And my spudgerilla tastes like caramel. And I'm always staying lit, just like a carousel. I'm a boss in this bitch, better than any male. I'm a boss in this bitch, I'm a boss, you're a bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch, I'm a boss, you're a bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch, I'm a boss, you're a bitch. I'm a boss in this bitch. If you can't get down, then you can't get this. Pasture grazed, delicious, nutrient dense, 100% organic raw milk from Organic Pastures. Visit organicpastures.com or call 1 877 Raw Milk. I was an addict, an opiate addict. The three years clean in October. I was renewed at the Fresno Rescue Mission. My mom, who does a lot of cooking, has been part of the rescue mission, has been willing to help teach people to make jams and jellies and other food. The Fresno Rescue Mission. And I believe that downtown Fresno needs a renewal as well. Tree of Life Cafe represents new, healthy growth in downtown Fresno. I've seen men and women go through rehab programs. They want to start a new life. And yet when they get out on the street, they find it very difficult to get a job. Nobody will give them a chance. That's what this cafe is designed to do. You will be like family to us. We will serve you our home-cooked food made with farm-fresh produce that comes from farmers right here in our valley. We love downtown Fresno. Sunshine Natural Health in Tulare, California is your source for nature's best remedies. Call Sunshine Natural Health at 559-688-2063 and get healthy. If you're considering a reverse mortgage in the Central Valley or just want more information, contact Jerry Carmichael. She's experienced, and more important, she's local. Call 559-903-6903. Call Brian Cossack today at 559-977-1976. Protecting you and those you love financially. Make an appointment today. At Miracle Realty, we've been providing premier professional residential sales and property management in residential and commercial property for years. We manage single-family homes, condominiums, apartment buildings, commercial buildings, office space, and much more. No matter what experience level you have in property management, Miracle Realty strives to make your experience as stress-free as possible. 
Serving Madeira and the surrounding areas, we use the latest technology and provide top-notch service. We're a trusted and reliable name in residential sales and property management with the experience to answer any questions or complications that might come up. Give us a call today or visit us online for more information. Central Can we give it up one more time for the live musical guest of the evening, French Vanilla! <laughs> Coming all the way down from the Bay Area just to perform for you fucking dirty motherfuckers. How about that? How, how long of a ride was it? How long of a ride was it, French? Five and a half hours. Holy oh. shit. Bill, thank you. For that, thank you. Can we give it up? Yeah. I'll tell you what, that is uh, that breaks the Sex Drugs Chris World record, I believe. That uh, besides Stephen Costantino, who's based out of LA, yeah. he doesn't really count. He's Return yeah. of the Jedi guy. Um, I think the longest we ever had artist travel is like three and a half hours. So you just blew that shit out of the water. Yay. Now, I have to ask you, let's just go ahead and get it started right off the bat. Okay. Where's the name come from? French Vanilla. Where'd you get that? Um, when I was in elementary school, my friends couldn't pronounce my name, so they so they started to call me Frenchie. And then I found out that Frenchie was a character in Greece. There you go. So then I saw the movie Greece, and I was like, mm, that's not me. So then I cut the Y off, and I started going by French. And then when I started, you know, being a rapper, I was like, what, who am I going to be? Like, I need to pick something. So I was young French, and then I was French Vanilla. But I didn't want to be just young, you know? I didn't want to be lost with all the youngs. There's too many youngs out there. So then I just started, like, going through flavors and colors and all these different categories, and then I found vanilla. There it is, French vanilla, just like that. I think it suits her well, uh, baby. <laughs> Get your bears down over there, fellas. Quit cheers in here, okay? <laughs> She's here on business right now, all right? She doesn't need, he's like, we're just, we're just cheers in here, Chris. We're so happy she came, Chris. All right, let's realize, let's, let's go back. When did you realize I can rap? I can, I can do this shit, like I can actually, I can rap and, and I want to do this in front of people. When did you realize that was true? Um, I realized that like maybe four years, well, three years ago, because I've been rapping since 2012, but like my first performance was in 2013. And after I had my first performance, I saw everybody's reactions to me being on stage. And I was just like, wow, like that is freaking awesome the way people react and everybody loved it. And I love the feeling afterwards. So I'm like addicted to that feeling. Calm down, she's talking about the music. Dead damn it, you two. You two are gonna have to sit outside eventually. Now, French Vanilla, what's the scene up like there? I mean, you're you're up in, in the, the Bay. Bay yeah, what's it like? Are there many female rappers? If so, is it fucking dog eat dog? Because oh I'll tell God. you, oh, Fresh. There's a lot of dog eat dog, little cat eat cat. Uh, what it is is in Fresno, a lot of the bands like to fight with one another, and the problem is we're in Fresno, and it's a tiny place, so why are we all fighting? Right. So there's a lot of fighting uh, down here with bands. Why and can't shit. we all just get along? Exactly. How How's it up there? How's the scene? How's it for you being a female uh, hip hop artist? It's pretty freaking competitive. Like, there's the the amount of female rappers that I know personally. I can count on my two hands, and like, I have like their phone numbers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as far as females, like, it's competitive. But we also try to help each other out. There's a lot of promoters in the Bay who do like female showcases, and yeah. I love stuff like that because. Sometimes it's a little discouraging when you go to a showcase and you're on it and it's all guys and you're the only girl and you're just kind of like, okay, like, can I get some girl power in here? Like, <laughs> who am I going to talk to? Like, sometimes I'm just tired of talking to guys. It's nice to see a female who's doing the same thing as you and be like, hey, let's connect on this, yeah. you know? So it's... it's rare, but, you know, we're getting up there. Like, there's more female rappers that are... Emerging. I was gonna say, quite the motherfucking angle too. I mean, if you were to go to all, well, that's what we need here in Fresno, man, an all lady female rap showcase. Yes. Yeah. That would be fucking. Yeah. Not that I don't have mad respect for all the fucking rappers in towns and the ones that we have booked coming on the show uh, uh, in the future, but I'm just saying it would be a fucking thrill to fucking have an all female rapper showcase. And to tell you the truth, uh, isn't it odd that the one that comes down and represents the hardest isn't even from Fresno? Just throwing it out there, ladies. <laughs> Just throwing it out there, ladies that are from fucking Fresno. Now, um, you write all your own shit? Yeah. How long, uh, let's just say beginning to end, 31 flavors. How long did that take you to get together? Oh, my God. 
that music has been sitting since 2013. Like, I've been dying to put it out, but, like, life just happens, and sometimes you don't put music out when you want to or when you plan to. And um, so, yeah, that was supposed to be out in, like, 2013. I wanted to put it out as soon as I recorded it, but I'm kind of impulsive. You know, I want, I want people to hear it, like, as soon as I record it. I'm yeah. like, look what I made, look what I did. But um, sometimes you just have to, like, get some promotion plans together. and. It, well, and I know. realize this with a lot of rappers, too, is sometimes these songs, once you finally do get them on a CD... They're songs they've been doing for like three, four years now. Yeah. Like these songs are burnt, burnt into them now because it's like, I wrote this song so long ago, I haven't had an opportunity to put it in like a disc format to actually give to people. Maybe it's just online or something, you know? And yeah. to be able to be at a show like, look, oh, what? What is, what is, what is, Billy Baruch? She brought oh, gifts. Look at this, what is, 31 over flavors, little over, there, over yeah. here. <laughs> oh, beer you like when she brings the 31 flavors. That's such a great angle. The French vanilla, 31 flavors. Your shirts are pretty much fucking making themselves at this point. Your merch will fucking make itself at this point. I mean, you certainly got, got a little look, got your braids going. You rode the Amtrak down here. You made friends on the way down here. I Can did. you? Can you tell that story real quick? By yes. the way, um, let's get this out of the way. I need to find you on the internet. I need to know everywhere oh, so I can wait, find you, you on the internet. You saw my Facebook post about me meeting people yeah. on Amtrak? Let's check through the You're sticker so on your phone. Nice. Uh, what, is, what is the... Uh, uh, let's start here. Where can I find you on the internet? Everywhere I can find you. Oh, Jesus. SoundCloud, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace, CD Baby, Reverb Nation, um... We got uh, you on Central, Facebook, right? CentralValleyTalk.com. Oh, look at her name uh, dropping, Billy uh, Baru. We got you on the Facebook, right? Facebook. French Vanilla. BayLifeRadio.com. Oh, shit. Um, SoundCloud. You got oh, yeah, the SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Insta Instagram, right? Instagram, French Are you on Vanilla, Fr uh, French Vanilla 420 on Instagram? Yeah, Instagram. And French you can Vanilla find links to her Facebook page on the Sex, Drugs, Chris Devold page. I know there's a bunch of stoners out there, and you're like, oh, she was dope. What was her name? What was her name? Fantastic. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be giving those out. Now let's tell the story. You you met a woman on the train ride down here yeah. and made great friends with her. And by the time I saw the picture on Facebook, she had literally had she had a French vanilla sticker on the fucking back of her she phone. Was she was dope. committed to the cause. She was dope. Like I was I was on the second I was on you know, there's like two stairs I was yeah. on the top part or whatever. And she said she travels here all the time. It was my first time on Amtrak today, so I really didn't know what to expect. Her first time on Amtrak, and she was coming down here? Oh, come on, loco! Oh, come, come on, man! Come on, man! That's the shit right there. So you met this cool chick, and she you just... She was awesome. Like, she was awesome. Well, first we started talking because this weirdo who was like... I don't know if he was on drugs or what, or if he was like half homeless, half... It's probably on, all of the above if they were coming down to this area, sweetie. I hate to tell you. He was on one homeless and looking for some booze or something. He comes right, rolling down our lane and is like looking for his bike. And we're like, bro, there's no bikes up here. Like, and what my bike on, um, <laughs> under my like, seat. He's like, I can't find my bike. We're like, well, it's probably locked up somewhere. So we started talking through this through this weirdo that kept coming back talk, trying to talk to the us. The weirdo brought them together, Bill. The weirdo the brought weirdo us together. Right? And then we started talking about how we always attract crazy people. Like, I swear to God, everywhere, I'm, everywhere I am, like, I don't even have to be talking to somebody. I'll have my headphones in. Somebody will stop me and just say something absolutely insane. And I'm like, <laughs> why me? Why You me? got a magnet for that shit in your pocket. You got a crazy magnet in your pocket there. Pretty much. And, yeah, so we started talking. And then I told her why I was on the train and what I was doing. And I was like, here, here's my EP, my flyer, my sticker, you know, pass her everything. And she's like, oh my God, that's so cute. Boom, boom. sticker right there on the phone. On Facebook, boom, the big old French vanilla sticker like, right on her phone. Pic? Sure, boom. Now, hey, let's go ahead and do this. It's such a quick hour, isn't it? It is such a quick hour, my yeah, little yeah, nasties. Yeah. It's, it's, so let's go ahead and do this. There are time musical guests, they come on the show and they realize that, damn it, he didn't ask me the thing I wanted to talk about her. <laughs> we were sitting up there that whole time and I didn't get to mention this. So what I've learned <laughs> to do now is to shut my big fat yapper. And now what we're going to do, and also it's hard to fill an internet television hour, guys. It really fucking is, okay? So we're going to get a huge example of that because I'm going to tell you what, for the next internet television minute, it is no longer sex, drugs, and Christopher of old because now it is sex drugs and french vanilla Yay! oh okay 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 um 
My name is French Vanilla. You guys can find me on Instagram at FrenchVanilla420. Please support my EP, 31 Flavors. You can find it on CD Baby. It only has six songs. I worked really hard on this. Um, shout outs to Bay Life Radio. Shout outs to Mr. Seth. Shout outs to Kai, my best friend, my family, everybody in the Bay Area. I love all of you. Shout outs to this guy right here. <laughs> shout outs to A23D right here, cameraman behind the camera. Shout outs to everybody who came tonight. Shout out to everybody listening right now. Um, rest in peace, Brandon Jackson. I love you. Um, I love you, Stone. That's my pit bull at home. I know he's not listening, but he's probably wondering where the fuck I am right now. Why, where are you, Mom? Why aren't you coming home? Um, <laughs> and uh, I love my friends. I love my family. What? And there it is, Sex, Drugs, and French <laughs> Vanilla. I give it up for it one more time. My live music the rest of the evening, traveling all the way from the motherfucking bay just to be here on CentralValleyTalk.com. Let me remind everyone that you can find links to all her shit on Facebook through the Sex, Drugs, Chris of Old page. Let me go ahead and say cunt. That's four. Let's do the, whoa, let's do the fifth one together. One, two, three, cunt. Now, hey, don't forget tomorrow night I'll see you at Tokyo Garden. The mentors are coming to town. Show kicks off 9 p.m. You can find links to all that shit on the Sex, Drugs, Chris of Old page. I'll be hosting it. I'll see you there. Now, Bill, do you want to know the live musical guest for next week? Please, no, no, fuck you. Like the Facebook page, you lazy stoners. We did it, Bill. We did it. Rethink your drink with independent Javita member Christine Levin. Call 559-301-5177 and get healthy and wealthy. Are you a first-time home buyer or investor? Realtor Amy Braun can introduce you to a special program tailored just for you. Call Amy Braun at 960-4155 or visit amyhbraun.com. Need raisins? Call National Raisin Company at 559-834-5981 or online at nationalraisin.com. I think people think of raw food or healthy food as not having much flavor, and this is so flavorful. So very nutrient dense, and it feeds my body. I love raw Fresno because I learned so much about nutrition. It's organic, and it's it's delicious. It's nutrient dense um, and very tasty. Soak up alive, probiotics, healthy vegetables to get that protein, uh, and it's a game changer. It's awesome. Come to Raw Fresno just because I love the food and there's not too many options or any options like this anywhere. I come back because the food is delicious. It's definitely a new experience, you know, the different tastes, the salad, 